will come. All glories be to the spiritual master and the golden lord. Today is a special day. I want to speak about the always blissful lord. In Sanskrit, always blissful is Nityananda. Short, Nitai. There is a pranam mantra which is paying obeisances to this Supreme Lord which goes as follows Sankarshanaha Karana Tai Shai Garboda Shai Chapayopti Shai Sheshas Chaya Syangsha Kala Sanitya Nandakya Rama Sharanam Namastu Namastu so, this verse is saying the following Sankarshan, Sheshanak, and the Vishnus who lie in the Karana, Garba, and Kira ocean are the plenary portions of the plenary portions of Sri Nityananda Ram. May he give me shelter. So, now I want to speak a little bit on the significance of the different names that are given here, which are all different names of God and different functions that he's taking in different uh, levels of existence or frequency or consciousness. So as we've been discussing before, we have um, three planes of existence mainly can be divided like this for a better understanding for us in the conditioned or limited consciousness we have these three divisions though there is only one divine energy the energy of God called Swarup Shakti or Radharani still this energy manifests on different levels in different ways so there is the chit or the spiritual sentient energy there is the uh, achit or the material energy which is non-sentient and there is the marginal energy which is sentient but it lies in between the two and it is made of innumerable living entities the souls so, um, in the chit, which is the spiritual world or the kingdom of God, everything is sentient to a highest extent. So there, God has, supreme personality of God has, is taking different forms to enjoy plays with his uh, associates. So, it is said in the Vedas, Ishvara Parama Krishna Satchit Ananda Vigra Anadi Adi Govinda Sarva Karana Karanam. So, Brahma, the secondary creator of the universe, is saying, The supreme controller is Krishna, and there is no other source than him. Uh, he is the Anadi Adi Govinda. So, Krishna has a younger this case I'm sure he's the older brother so anyhow he has a brother called Balaram so he's the first expansion of Krishna and he is in the mood of servitorship actually he's in the mood of um, of a sibling he's the brother of Krishna but he's the same personality of Godhead but for the sake of play and Leela He's taking this form so and from him different incarnations come different expansions in different um, dimensions of the spiritual world and when it comes to creating the material universe which is said to be one quarter of the divine energy then he's becoming Mahavishnu 
or Karana Dashai means he is lying on the causal ocean, ocean, and from him emanate countless universes like little little bubbles. And um, in each little universe, he is going, and he is taking place in this universe as Garbo Dashai on the Garbo Daka. Garbo is also the womb. So he's taking place in the womb of this universe. And then again, inside the universe, there are countless atoms, living entities, and elements, etc. So inside of every atom, and inside of every heart of levi every living being, he's entering again as Kirodaka Shai Vishnu, who is also the super soul that is accompanying every living being on its countless journeys from <coughs> one life to another. So, furthermore, he's taking another form, and that's the form of Shesh. So Shesha is holding all the planets in their orbit, and he's lying at the bottom, at the bottom of the of the universe, in the waters, because the bottom of the universe is filled with water, according to Vedic cosmology. So, and these are all different expansions of Ram, who was originally Balaram. So, because he's doing all these services to Krishna and Radha, who are the original divine couple. That's why he said he is the servitor personality of Godhead, in a servant mood. And if we want to achieve our position as uh, servants and lovers of God, we need to sh take shelter of Him. So that is what is said here in this verse. Sankarshan uh, is one of the first expansions of Balaram. Shesha, who is lying on the bottom of the universe. Vishnu, the all-pervading Vishnu forms. One who is lying on the causal ocean. One who is lying on the in the universe and one who's lying in the milk ocean or in every atom and in every heart of every living being are the plenary portions and portions of the plenary portions of Sri Nityananda. So that's what I want to discuss last because today is actually Nityananda's appearance day. So Nityananda is um, the same Balaram. He's not a plenary portion. He's the same as Krishna's brother Balaram. Many people don't know this, but um, it is a hidden incarnation that Krishna is taking in the Kali Yuga, the Iron Age, the Age of Quarrel and Hypocrisy that we are in now. It's called the Winter Age in the cycle of um, different cosmic ages. And um, so 500 years ago, Krishna appeared again to show the path to loving devotion the path to full mm, intimacy with Godhead. He had some personal motives, but he also came to give this spontaneous loving service in complete ecstasy to the Supreme Divine Couple Radha Krishna. So he, Krishna, came in the mood of Radharani. And at the same time, his brother came with him, of course, as always, um, all his associates are coming with him. So, and he took the form of Nityananda and he assisted in this um, wonderful pastimes um, that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is Krishna, and Sri Nityananda Prabhu exhibited about 520 years ago, um, incarnating in West Bengal. And Nityananda Prabhu uh, appeared in Eka Chakra. So, this is uh, the first part of this video on the glories of Nityananda Prabhu. So I'm begging his mercy that one day I can realize all these things that I've been talking about and achieve loving devotion to the Supreme Divine. Jai Nitai Jai Nimai Shila Gurudeva Ki Jai